Hi, Tom Freiburg from Water and Wastewater International Magazine coming to you from the show floor here at EFAT in Zorga in Munich, Germany. I'm joined here by Dr. Steve Laborda, who is from Chimera. Dr. Laborda, good to see you today and uh, thanks for joining me. Yeah, welcome to our boot at EFAT. Thank you very much. Um, so first of all, uh, Dr. Laborda, give us a bit of an overview as Chimera as a company and some of your latest activity. So Chimera is a Finnish company uh, having a turnover of over 2 billion euro. Um, our vision is to be a leading water chemistry company um, yeah, and working and addressing different customer needs uh, in areas like water reuse, uh, enhancement of biomass utilization or sustainable water reuse. And in terms of your geographical coverage, where, where do you have offices and how many staff do you have? We are a company having about 5,000 employees. Uh, we are worldwide spread and we have about 100 sites over the world. Fantastic. And uh, let's talk more about your latest um, in research and development efforts. A lot of chemical companies are yeah. ploughing a lot of money into the R&D and Chimera has a centre of excellence to talk about. So give us a bit more information yeah, about exactly. that. Exactly. So we have uh, our so-called SWEET programme, which is our uh, water uh, efficiency excellence programme, where we are cooperating with VTT um, and uh, we are spending about 120 million euro over the next four years to address, as mentioned, uh, some, uh, some uh, new developments in water reuse, in enhancement of biomass utilization like biogas or bioethanol and sustainable uh, water. Uh, treatment applications. So the uh, the research you mentioned is, is looking at what, nutrient recovery is a big part of the research as well? That's true, that's one of our uh, programs which is uh, really to to answer the needs of shortage of, of phosphor or nitrogen and to recycle um, these nutrients to use them further, for instance as fertilizer. Fantastic, so you, you have kind of laboratory R&D efforts going on as well as your commercial activities with the idea that eventually the, what's being researched will be integrated into your commercial uh, large-scale ap applications? Of course, that's our ultimate target. That means that in, in few years, we are then, or even this year, we are already starting to launch new applications and further developing to further answer customer needs. Fantastic. And whereabouts is the, uh, the research and development centre based? We have actually four R&D centres, one in Finland, um, one in Shanghai in China, one in Atlanta in the US, and one in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Oh wow, so you have good regional coverage, different yeah. geographical factors from Latin America to North America. Exactly, to, to, Asia. to specifically have uh, development work on, let's say, local or regional needs. Fantastic, and we, we talked a bit about uh, nutrient recovery and uh, water reuse, but that's uh, here at EFAT, big focus on wastewater. A lot of people are talking about the, the sort of trend now for wastewater reuse and the cost reductions compared to other methods of gaining uh, possible water. So let's have a look through your, uh, your sort of interactive schematic here and talk us through some of your latest work on uh, water reuse. Tom, here, what you have, what we are trying to emphasize here also is our application know-how and our broad offering to answer all customers' needs with our innovations. Okay. Uh, around wastewater treatment, which is one of our expertise, let's say, next to drinking water and uh, water reuse. Okay. And uh, our customers can here really learn more about the applications and specifically about our solutions around it. Um, as you can see, it starts really from the sewer system where you have disorder issues. Going through the whole process, you have scale control, for instance, uh, the typical removal of phosphor, um, and one big challenge, as always, is around uh, the digestion process, so the biogas process and the sludge treatment. And on the, let's say, on the water side, the disinfection, of course, which is ensuring that you get the proper quality of water. Sure. I mean, here it's detailing the, the cycle of wastewater processing from the generation to the treatment. What about the, uh, the biogas? You mentioned that. Where, where's the biogas used in this equation? How is it used within the... Uh, the kind of to generate the energy and, and, and recuperate what's lost. Biogas, you have two aspects. Here we are looking at the municipal side, um, but you have also the industrial side, of course, and there are two different, um, let's say, targets. On the municipal side, you are trying, let's say, to get rid of your sludge, reduce the volumes, and at the same time, get energy. So there, the economic balance is slightly different than on an industrial side, where you're trying to get as much waste in 
and as much energy what you're selling to the grid later on. Sure. But Chimera is able to answer both. So we are providing process enhancement uh, treatments for both applications. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at your industrial uh, waste applications. Talk, talking about biogas, um, a lot of customers meet scale problems in the, around their anaerobic digestion process. Um, we as Chimera are having application know-how and some solution. We are presenting at IFAT uh, one of our presentation given by Reinhard Hoffmann around scale control. Um, so that was the municipal part, of course. We are addressing also our industrial customers uh, in different industries, as you, as you can see. So biogas, food and beverage, sugar and bioethanol, pharmaceutical and construction. As we talked earlier, biogas, um, here we are addressing quite uh, another angle, as mentioned and we are more going in really improving the, the yield of the process, making the process more stable and improving overall the dewatering, which is the biggest headache of our customers. Thank you for your time here at the booth and um, some interesting applications. We wish you the best of luck with uh, your R&D Centre of Excellence and the, the work going forward. So uh, thank you for your time. Thanks a lot for Cheers. your visit here.